see the wizard. Bye. Bye. Have a good day at work. You too. Okay. So, yeah, it's gonna be a long day. But first, I need to back up all the footage that we took yesterday. I gotta pick up this house. Uh, I need to run the water maker and fold some clothes. But first, really what I need to do is finish this coffee. Mm. And then, straight to work. A lot of what I do is making cables, fixing pumps, fixing toilets, running wire, landing all this hardware. So if you guys were curious on what I did all day, every day, that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, working on broken boats. So today is a very windy day, great for grinding, but I'm also competing with this lovely dark sky. So we'll see if this happens, but it was so windy that our um, hatch has blown off of its hinges and they have got a little bit of wood rot in them. So kind of tackling that today. Figured if we're already doing fiberglassing, might as well do all of the fiberglassing. time. <laughs> mm. It's really hard to talk with peanut butter in your mouth. All right, I am all done with the grinding for today. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and fill in the holes with thickened epoxy and put some fiberglass over it. But miraculously the sun came out and now I'm going to go and put some shade up so I can finish some sanding and also painting. I'm so tired. All right, you guys, I'm calling it. I'm not gonna have time to paint. Um, I'm gonna have Bo check this out anyways, and then we can get some paint on it when we can. It's just kind of the reality of it. <laughs> it's really hard to get everything done that you wanna get done, so. And then sleep, which I haven't done much of. <laughs> A little windy, huh? Tiny bit windy. Trying to lay fiberglass down and the wind is not gonna be fun. So, as you guys saw the, yesterday, I was grinding this area out. This is all ready to be filled up with fiberglass. First, Bo's gonna put in a piece of marine ply where the brackets go. And then we are gonna fill it, the rest of it with a thickened epoxy and slap some fiberglass on it and call it a day. Now to clean up and get some dinner. Good morning guys. We were up late last night trying to get everything prepped. So today we're back at it. But before we get to it, I'm gonna make Brandy a special breakfast. She's still sleeping so. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Breakfast is ready. But this is cereal. We don't get to eat cereal. We're keto. I'm sure it's full of sugar. Nope, zero sugar. And about 13 grams of protein. But what about the carbs? Nope, five net carbs and 140 calories. The high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown-ups. That's me. Here goes nothing. Ah, that makes me feel like a kid again. 
fruity is my favorite. So if you're like Brandy and miss eating cereal because of all the junk that they put in it, then you should definitely try out Magic Spoon. No. They're so confident in their cereal that they have a 100% happiness guarantee. Which means if you don't like it for any reason, they'll give you your money back. No questions asked. So try it today. Click the link below and grab yourself a variety pack. Oh, but be sure to enter in Bo and Brady at the promo code at the checkout so you can get $5 off your own boxes because these are all mine. Or go to magicspoon.com forward slash bow and brandy. That was delicious. Back to work. Oh, MG. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forgot that was down there. Probably should eat it. Yeah, this isn't that bad. And this support here, this is for the the floor mostly. It's not the integrity of Sersha. Oh, uh, but it, it did get cut here. Oh man, jeez. It's like completely off. Yeah, that's not, that's probably why it it's came completely down. completely off? Yeah. So a few weeks ago, Brandy found all of these separation areas and that made us suspect the compression post. So now that we got the new one in, we are gonna tackle all these issues and get them all tabbed up the way they should be. So first we're gonna start with the floor and this shelf over here. These aren't majorly structural issues, but you know, we do wanna put Sersha back together. I can't be like this much longer. I mean, we did upgrade from <laughs> tin foil to parchment paper. Do you guys like it? It's awesome. Anyways, while Bo is doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the stuff out of here so I can start sanding the hole that we have in here. I guess it's not a hole, it's more of a split. And then we're going to fillet it. Fillet? No. No? Fill it. <laughs> Fill it, F-I-L-E-T, not fill it, F-I-L-L-E-D, it, right? Filled it. <laughs> We're going to put some epoxy in the hole. <laughs> the old little board shuffle when you live on your boat. <laughs> You gotta move everything to another room when you're working on it. Just gotta get the tape. Twister. <laughs> so I cleared everything out from behind the study as well. There's some pretty good storage in there, but I didn't want to get everything dusty because the hole does lead down into there. Look how it's not, it's not separated here. This is all still intact. And look how much space is there. Huh. It almost looks as though there is a gap from the shelf to the hall all the way down and where the fiberglass is still intact, it's almost as if they've just curved the fiberglass. And over time, this part has worn off I don't think it doesn't really look like it's separated. It looks like, like maybe just old age. What happened here? There was structural da damage. So maybe that's what happened there. Well, I think I would have noticed. Maybe we should go back and look at the old footage. Yeah, did, we did could. We, did you film that? No, I didn't. <laughs> that was like the first project I did. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it's not being pulled apart because now looking from underneath, you see that there is separation. Yeah, it just happen chance that you I that and then I found that and yeah. then I found that and maybe hey, at least it all led to us finding the compression post but maybe it didn't get caused by the compression post right but I mean it's still going to be good to fix and, and yeah do the, what we need this is Bo on autopilot sanding 
while he sleeps. <laughs> Are you sleeping? Lunchtime. What's for lunch? Chicken and kimchi. Made my own kimchi. It's been fermenting for what, three weeks now? At least. <laughs> Show them the top of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> One tip, if you have big uh, spices, like a lot of it, if you can limit the air that gets in there, the longer it'll last. So because it's it's got no fiberglass there holding it up to the floor, I'm trying to put a shim in there. That way when we glass it up, it's in place. And when the glass cures, we'll remove the shim and it should stay right where it belongs. Since that's all prepped now, one more area to prep up. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and take care of this bulkhead. It cracked right down here. We think it cracked because of all the tools and stuff that we have in here. And we got a crap load of tools in here. Because it, it buckles out. It's essentially a compartment. So we weren't able to see if that bulkhead went all the way down. And from the other side, once we cut out all the fiberglass, we were able to get a clearer picture. It's not even cracked all the way through. And it doesn't go all the way to the bilge. So there's no pressure point to have caused that buckling. I feel like we like frauded everybody, making everyone think that the compression post caused these things, but gotcha. it's not really. Ah, uh, we're just throwing spaghetti at the wall. But it led us to it at least. Yeah. These screws are so bad I can't even undo them. Let's just use your muscles instead. Tear it out. How about that? How about well, I'm what? Just, I'm surprised the. The bulkhead is actually tabbed to the hull. It is? It is. On this side only? Yeah, just on this side. I'm just surprised to see that. You're not too cramped over there, are you? Meh. I've worked in tighter spaces. Oh man, these are like fall off the bone. Roni. It's good kimchi. Mm -hmm. It's not that sour. We're spicy. Brandy did a good job of sanding down this little hatch area and the, my mistake, my crack around the mast, but this little hatch area needs to be built up a little bit more, more filler, more glass. And while we're doing that, we're gonna lay the glass on the inside because all those surfaces got prepped last night. So I hope that you guys appreciate how many steps actually go into fiberglassing. It has taken us days to get this done. We had to cut everything out, to sand it down. We have to mix the epoxy. We have to cut out the fiberglass. We have to clean up the area. Yeah, it's not very simple. It is a very tedious job <laughs> that I can't say that I enjoy, but it's nice to have the end product way better than it was before. To lay this in, I'm just gonna kind of glop it in there. So I just want you to take the popsicle stick and go along the corner there of okay. both walls at like a 45 degree angle 
and just smear it across. So it should get a, give us a good radial for laying the glass. Okay. I love the working time of this tropical <laughs> stuff. It's so nice not to have to worry about like it kicking on you. I remember when we were using just regular epoxy, not the tropical, it just kicks so fast in the boatyard. Remember that? Yes. Pretty stressful. Yeah. Now, and I still had those like nerves of it kicking too, and I can just take my time. Polo boat, tropical slow, extra slow hardener. down this plastic hopefully to make sanding a little bit easier Yay. Even, even though we are raised up uh, above the deck uh, we'll still have to contour but I don't know hopefully it'll it'll have less air little little those, those little tiny air pockets in it now we're moving on to that little floor strut or floor support it runs along the beam, and the way they had it glassed up originally was a strip of woven that acted more like a U-bolt. So I'm just gonna use 1708, wet it out, and lay it up there. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Well, give it a whirl, see what happens. Last of the Mohicans. We're not gonna do any more. I think we might even go play, huh? I hope so. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, my lobster dinner. Oh, you're fixing the bulkhead, right? We're bulking up the bulkhead. Yeah, so we're fixing the bulkhead and then we're gonna lay a piece to tie the bulkhead into the shell. Once we get into the bathroom and start reconstructing that mess going on, we're gonna tab in on that side as well because this side is actually tabbed. However, the other side of this bulkhead is not tabbed. So we'll make it a little bit extra stronger when we get on that side. But for now, I think it's probably pretty good. Yes? Yeah. Probably pretty good. It is pretty good. It's good. Can I have a stamp of approval from the This is our first time diving in probably six, six months. months. Maybe longer. So, having said that, please wish us luck that we might see something cool or catch some lobsters. Let's do this! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No lobster, but we did make a friend. We made a little a little guy's day. <laughs> he, <laughs> what, did what are he they ever called? try to suck on you? Yeah, he was like nipping at he me. He was trying to suck on my leg. Like he tried to get attached to my leg. I, was he trying to attach or was, because I, I watched him, he was like nipping. Mm, I don't know. I yeah. felt like he was trying to attach. But what are they called? Hmm. Not Pecostomists. Oh, he was so cute. He At was. one point, he left Bo and then like came swimming over to me and I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> but he did. And then he went back to you. Yep. And then he came back to me. Yep. But we saw a couple stingrays. We didn't get a whole bunch of coral, but it was nice to actually get in the water. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Do you want to check the front? Oh yeah, make sure that this came out well with this plastic. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. Yeah. Looks really smooth. I mean, it'll help with the sanding. It's still going to need to be sanded, though. Yeah. It could have been better, but hey, it's a test. Hey, yeah, you know. Every time we do this, we get a little bit better, hopefully. <laughs> At least that's a goal. <laughs> I don't know if we always accomplish it. You're very matchy match with your mug and your shorts and your eyes and the water. Well, I can't really do much about the water or my eyes, but the mug and the shorts, yeah. I'm gonna leave you right here. Nighty night. Night night. Here goes nothing. What am I talking about? Well, that come. I feel like that makes me feel. That makes me. That makes me feel a little more. What's the right word I'm trying to find? Back it goes. <laughs> Oops. Little for me. Little for the box.